Hello everyone. Welcome to latest update program. The topic of discussion is India to launch first biological experiments aboard ISS. This topic relates to science and technology section of the UPSC CSE syllabus. India is set to conduct its first ever biological experiments aboard the International Space Station, ISS. These experiments a part of the bio e3 biotechnology policy the experiments aim to study the sustainability of human life in space focusing on space based nutrition and waste recycling during prolonged space travel before moving further an important announcement the offline batch of the iasgs foundation course prelims plus mains has started at drishti ias noida admissions are now open for both the english medium and Hindi medium batches. For more details, contact eight seven five zero one eight seven five zero one. Now let's discuss about microalgae growth experiment. The first experiment at the ISS will examine the impact of microgravity and space radiation on the growth of edible mi microalgae nutrient-rich potential food source for long-duration space missions. This project is a joint initiative of ISRO, NASA, and DBT, and aims to analyze key growth parameters and changes in transcriptomes, proteomes, and metabolomes of different algal species in space, as compared to Earth-based controls. The results will help identify the most suitable microalgal species for use in space environments. They offer several key advantages that make them ideal candidates. For sustaining life in space, they have an extremely short life cycle, with some species growing in as little as 26 hours, allowing for rapid biomass production. Now let's discuss about cyanobacteria growth study. The second experiment at the ISS will study the growth and proteomic responses of cyanobacteria, such as spirulina and synecococcus, under microgravity conditions using urea and nitrate-based media. The experiment aims to explore spirulina as a superfood due to its high protein and vitamin content, compare the growth of cyanobacterial cells in urea versus nitrate environments, and study the effect of space conditions on their metabolic profiles. Cyanobacteria play a key role in recycling carbon and nitrogen from human waste during space missions. A critical aspect for self-sustainability in spacecraft and future extraterrestrial colonies. Now is the time for practice question. Why are microalgae considered ideal for sustaining life in space? A. They can grow in total darkness. B. They have a short life cycle and rapid biomass production. C. They require no nutrients. D. They produce toxic gases. Send the answer for this question in the comment section. Thanks for watching. For more informative content, like, share and subscribe and do not forget to press the bell icon to get the notifications.